I'm afraid the young groom-to-be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some robe-wearing punks with bad manners, and the Vault Hunter and I had to beat a sense of decorum into them. Nothing more to worry about. Hey, Wainwright. Let me see that cool ring, okay? Oh, sure, of course. The vessel has been chosen. It's only a matter of time. Winnie, what are you saying? What? I, I don't... I don't know. But I do feel a bit... Uh, sideways. It is as I feared. Another moment of your time, if you would. At... The counter. That ring on his finger has powers beyond mortal comprehension. The Lodge is slowing the effect to a degree, but the outcome is inevitable. You must find a way to remove it, or I'm afraid he will miss the ceremony. Entirely. There is a man known as Burton Briggs who is proficient at uncovering secrets. A detective of sorts. He can help you learn more about this ring and its origin. Look for him at his agency. The Eyewitness. Do be careful. Your actions this night have stirred the bonded in the world The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. Detective isn't answering. 
Perhaps the nearby townsfolk have seen him. <sighs> hey, I'm Gaddy. But please don't talk to me. Every time I speak, I have to... Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> sucks to be you. <clears throat> but uh, while I'm here, any idea where Burton Briggs got off to? Ah, damn it. You're talking to me. Okay, I think Burton was talking to Halan a while ago. Uh, there we go again. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Good luck with the uh, vomiting. Oh yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Whoops, I spoke again. Holy crap! You scared the bequeezus out of me. What do you want? Trying to pin down the whereabouts of Burton Briggs. Any ideas? <laughs> I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack at this rate. Look, I saw Burton with. What did you. Did you just. No? Okay. Saw Burton with Gina. Leave me alone. I'm. What was that? Nothing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Guessing you're cursed too? What's your thing? Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now. Or ever! Screw you! Uh-huh. Look, just tell me where Burton Briggs is at and I'll leave you alone. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery like an idiot. Now get out of my face! Okay, good luck with your blood pressure. Guiding me through a dark wood to the spire of cracking despair. 
step. Wait, I lost count. your story, friend. Dealing with a cursed ring, but I'm a little in the dark and I need some recon. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded, and I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. As for me... I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old, uh, lonesome shop. Now that we're working together... Here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. Really? You don't have to... It all started... Well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memory. <laughs> There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know I'm searching for something. Answers to questions I've already forgotten. Wait, what was I saying? Ah, never mind. You're busy. Just between us, Volt Hunter, I feared this weekend wouldn't have enough excitement, but now we are embroiled in... Occult secrets, diabolical curses, and great big monsters. It's the wedding I always dreamed of. I'm still wrestling with this mystery. But I really don't know whether I go by bird or what is about. What? That's it? <laughs> The archives keep strange, unknowable hours. Mostly because they're not posted anywhere. Only way in is through the old librarian, Harriet. Hey. Shh. I need to get into the archives. It's a matter of life and death. And curses. Why do you keep your voice down? This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. Hey, Harriet. Let them in, won't you? I helped you find that missing locket, didn't I? Oh, fine. But don't you cause a ruckus, you hear me? And this makes us even, Bert. Glad that worked. I wasn't sure if that locket bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography room to find what you're searching for. The hollow projector will have some- I see you delving into my past, worm. Oh, you are tenacious, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't had a plaything like you in quite some time. Calm down, cub! Wasted! Yeah. 
will be soon. I'll make sure of that.
search log day 37. My beloved has made a fascinating discovery. Go on, tell them, dear. I am thrilled to report. The mountain above Githian's resting place is home to a treasure trove of ancient ruins that seem to be from some sort of precursor alien civilization. There are technological marvels inside that mankind has only seen in dreams. This could change everything! Even more fascinating, my initial studies hinted a link between Githian's eternal life and the technology itself. This will require further experimentation. But do be careful, my beloved. There are some lines we should not cross. It is called the Eater of Hearts, after all. <laughs> Darling, really? You worry too much. Interesting. But there must be more. Find another tape. Again, uh, not ordering you around or anything, just, <laughs> just trying to help. I have a hunch there's another way in. There always is, friend, if you're clever. See if maybe there's a ventilation shaft or something you could get into. Always follow your hunches, friend. That's what I think I do.
schedule of day 162. I am worried about Vincent. He is obsessed with Githian's heart. I can hardly understand the things he's been saying lately. He believes the heart holds the key to eternal life, but we still barely understand the mutagenic and metaphysical properties of Githian's power. I don't know what to do. Wriggle all you want, worm. It will make no difference. Expand my sight!
true power worm, bonded champion! As Scythian's strength flows through me, now it flows through you! Destroy them! I shall do as you command. that again.
Once you wriggle back to your burrow, tell my Vincent I'll see him again very soon. <laughs> I say, welcome back to my humble establishment. I am over here at the counter. We will meet again. Oh, yes. Hey, Slim. You said you could help me out with this? Indeed. Please place this relic you've recovered into the player so that we might reveal the mysteries of the young groom's curse. I see sinister sound. Personal log day 175. Vincent went to Gideon's heart chamber alone. I chased after him, but I was too late. The heart consumed him. But he still lives, entombed within. Perhaps there is still a way to free him. Vincent's research showed the precursor technology had some sort of bond with Gideon's heart. I will need something to focus this bond. A ring? Yes! I will bring a sample of Gideon's heart back to our ship for further study. Ah, of course. The ring's power comes from the monster's heart itself. <clears throat> well then, our purpose is made clear. We must destroy the heart. Eldritch Adventure Ho! <clears throat> the monster's heart lies deep below the town. Directly below the wedding venue, in fact. That same power coursing through the young groom is blocking off all access. Hey, what if we use the power of the heart to cut through the force field? Eleanor said there was a piece of the heart on her research ship. Ah, there is an old doll research ship high atop the cursed mountain known as... Negul Meshai. You heard Tall, Dark, and Spooky? Head to that mountain! 
I'll stay here and keep an eye on the groom. 